Good day. For today's video, we are going to discuss Arts 10, Quarter 3, Module 1. Distinct Characteristics of Philippine Media-Based Arts, Photography. Objective. Identify the distinct characteristics of each media-based art in photography, film, animation, print media, and digital media. Philippine Media-Based Arts, Photography. Photography is one of the most enjoyed hobbies of every Filipino. This is evident in the millions of photos that are posted in the different social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. In this field, some gifted Filipino photographers are known, because of their remarkable shots, such as Mr. George Tapon. George Tapon. He has won two Pacific Asia Tourism Association. PADA, Gold Awards, and the first place in the 2011 National Geographic Photo Contest. He worked for the Department of Tourism and Philippine Airlines and has published five travel photography books. He started out as a photographer for movie posters, shooting stills for 60s movies like A Song Salonga. His subjects were Joseph Estrada, Fernando Poe Jr. and Dolphy. At the age of 24, he shifted to travel photography. Isla Verde was his first assignment. Some famous works of George Tapon. Into the Green Zone. Batanes Island. Albe. Characteristics of Philippine photography. Number 1. Interesting foreground. It is the portion of the frame that is closest to the camera. The foreground space in an image can be utilized to draw attention to a subject, located further into the frame, for example with leading lines, or it can be used to frame the subject. Let's dig further about foreground, middle ground, background. The foreground is the section closest to the camera. The background is the section farthest away. The middle ground falls somewhere between, connecting them. Number 2. Sharpness. A sharp photograph shows intent and skill. There are times that some parts of an image are blurry, are vague but can be enhanced with the use of neutral density filters. Number 3. Interesting perspective. Sometimes all photographs need to be interesting. In order to do this, there should be a change of perspective. A shot taken from a few inches from the ground or under the subject. Something which is not usually seen, can produce great images. By changing perspective, subjects can appear much smaller, are larger than usual, lines converge differently, and much more. Different perspectives in photography. Perspective number one. Photograph up, or down. Perspective number two. Lie down and shoot from the ground level. Perspective number three. Photograph through objects. Perspective number four. Fill the frame. Perspective number five. Place something in the foreground. Perspective number six. Mirrors and reflections. Number four. Good lighting. Not under or overexposed is too obvious. A photographer knows how to really work with light, which can help create some truly stunning images. Some rules are meant to be broken, and lighting is one of them. Some direction of light apply by the photographer. Letter A. Flat lighting. Light is behind the camera, providing a nice, even light across the groom's face. Letter B. Backlighting. It involves shooting into the light, your camera faces the window. Letter C. Split or side lighting. The light is coming from the left, which made the bride, the brightest part of the image. We're done with good lighting, now, let's have number 5. Symmetry. It is the quality of being made up, of exactly similar parts, facing each other, or around an axis. It can play tricks in our brain, and when used properly in photography, 
It creates interesting photographs. Photographs of architecture often use symmetry. Types of symmetry. Horizontal symmetry. Vertical symmetry. Radial symmetry. Number 6. Shadows. It gives depth to two-dimensional images, are just interesting composition builders. Number 7. Contrast. It is the visual ratio of different tones in an image. This difference is what creates the textures, highlights, shadows, colors, and clarity in a photograph. Guidelines for good contrast. Softer, low-contrast images are usually flattering to portrait subjects. Think ring light in a makeup tutorial video. High contrast images of naturally dramatic, dynamic scenes, such as a sunset, are often pleasing to the viewer's eye. No contrast at all, or flat light, could fail to catch a viewer's attention. Over-edited images with unnaturally harsh contrast can also be unattractive to a viewer. Number 8. Human interest. Candid shots stand out. It is better to see photos with the subject who isn't reacting to the camera, but instead, living their life. Last but not the least, number 9. Isolation. It is the ability to draw the viewer's attention away from anything distracting in the image, and lead them right to the main subject. We're done with the characteristics of Philippine photography. I hope you learned something in our lesson for today. See you again in our next video. Thank you for listening.